hey darlings thank you so much for joining me on my channel today and today i have a traveler's notebook setup video for you and i am setting up the august by the well for god devotional the heavenly host and i i'm just going to set up my traveler's notebook because i am going to be using if you did not pick it up this is the diy dory and this is a craft text and let me just take out all the pieces this is a craft text cover and um, it has as you can see here um, the little holes so you can put in the elastics it comes with the ribbon or i'm sorry the leather so you can close that up so this is a craft text cover and um, it comes with the little metal pieces and the wood piece for you to hang from here comes with some extra craft text pieces as well. So in here, this is going to house, because it's a traveler's notebook cover, both um, my devotional and an extra journal refill. Now this one comes with a journal, but um, I actually like this one that came in the Heavenly Host journal set too better. I just, for me, it matches better. So I'm gonna use this one that, but you can use the one it comes with because this DIY Dory set does come with a traveler's notebook already. But I'm gonna be using this one. And so this is gonna house all of this in like this. Um, but before getting into this, because I am still trying to find out exactly what I want to do with the outside of this cover. Before I do that, I want to set up my um, traveler's notebook. And as you guys know, I love using my traveler's notebook for notes and scripture writing as I'm going through. So I've already studied um, day one here. And so I have jotted down my notes, did my scripture writing in here for day one. I'm gonna go ahead and set up all 14 days. So they're set up and ready to go when I am um, either on the go, I can just grab my um, traveler's notebook and this will have this inside, I just need a pen. And also it just makes it easier for me to set it all up at one time the things that I'll be using. So I pulled out some tile alphas. I'll be using these specifically for um, writing down the text. So not the verses. So I'll be writing down, for, exa for example, Genesis 1-1, um, Colossians 1-3. I'll be using these tile alphas for those. I also pulled out the mini stickers because these are perfect for pocket Bibles, but also for using in your traveler's notebook because it's mostly writing and scripture writing. I can then later go in with some of these mini stickers and decorate the page a little without taking up too much time. Same as same for the clear stickers that come with the kit. These are perfect for um, keeping the traveler's notebook pretty thin and also just um, some quick uh stickers that i can add in to decorate after i do my notes i also pulled out the stickers i'm going to be using these but these are the number stickers on white sticker paper um these take you through all 14 days so there's enough numbers to take you through 14 days i'm just going to use this to number each day um these labels came in the um in as the freebie this one with this tile alpha so i pulled these just in case i'll be using them um but the labels that i usually do use are these bigger ones these are perfect they are gonna house so this is the coordinating heavenly host clear sticker set and i love this because they always add a sheet that has all 14 of the titles in the devotional so let me show you day one is common creatures so in here we have common creatures i can just pull this add it to one of the labels and one of the numbers and then i am good to go for that day hope that makes sense so i have one for each day so i'll be adding one label for each day because this pack comes with 15 so i have one left over and um that way i have everything set up and ready to go for the month so i'm going to put you on fast forward this is going to be um a pretty uh you know, repetitive process, but I just want you to see how I set up and get ready for the month. Let's dig in. Okay, darling. So first thing I'm going to do is have my devotional right in front of me so I can go ahead and easily flip through and add all of the title starters to each one of my pages. I love that they added this to the coordinating stickers because this makes it easy for me to label each day. So as you can see here, I'm just grabbing one of the coordinating labels. I grab the title starter sticker. I add that to the label. I add the number and then I'm going to go through these mini stickers. These are coordinating stickers 
markers that are perfect. They actually made them for the pocket Bible, um, but I'm going to be using them here. You can also use them. I've seen people use them in their study Bibles, um, in um, maybe your reading Bible that has a smaller margin. These are the perfect mini stickers for that. So I just add, again, the label, the title starter, and then I'm going to add the number and then one of those mini stickers to each one of these pages. The reason I set this up is to make sure that I am set up for success. Uh, you know, setting up every day for Bible journaling can become kind of overwhelming and it takes up a lot of time. But in order for me to ensure that I do get into the Word of God, that I do take advantage of reading these devotionals, studying and doing the heart part, I am making sure at least some of the art part is already done. So here you see me again, I am just grabbing stickers. Sometimes I try to find stickers that coordinate with the title. And if I don't, I just pick something that matches that's similar, just to kind of keep the theme going. I also want to point out here on day five, you can see that there's tons of space left in the label, but now we're going to flip over to day 10 and you'll see that in day 10, the tight, the space is really tight, but I just layer that one on top of the other. You can still see the number and still see the title. Um, I just want to make it fit across the top because I want to allow as much space as possible to do my notes. As you know, the By the Well for God devotional comes with tons of scripture and because I do do scripture writing and in include notes, I want to make sure I have enough space. The the traveler's notebooks, the blank traveler's notebooks that you can get that coordinate with these books have enough space for you to do two pages or a spread for each day and you still have like two or three leftover pages in the back. Okay, so here I'm finishing up. I'm near day 11. Uh, you also see me outline with my journaling pen the um, numbers. This just helps it pop off of the um, label. I just like doing that. And here on day uh, 13, you can see that I layer the numbers right on top of whatever space I have left on the label. That's another thing you can do. You can do it on the outside of the label as you saw me do on a couple of days because the um, full title filled up the full label or you can just place it on whatever space you have left. You'll see me do that again here in day 14. The label has some space on the bottom and so I just add my numbers on that bottom portion. I love that these stickers come with tons of stickers for the mini coordinating um, set because I have tons left to add more as I go later. Now I'm gonna work on my title. So working on my title, I have one more label left. And so I'm gonna use this and then I pull the kit sticker, one of the die cuts and also the verse card. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. I end up going with the die cut though because it's the one that I feel um, just works the best without covering the beautiful pattern in that background. Then I'm going to use some mustard tile alphas to spell out 23 August. So August for 2023. I like to make sure that I put the month that I worked on this kit. Okay, now you'll see me fuss a little bit because I wanted the tile alphas to kind of nestle under that die cut. So I move all the way, I move the label all the way across to the right. And now I'm going to add some Tombow adhesive glue. And for some texture, I'll grab my tiny attacher and I'll add some staples here. Not necessary, but again, texture. And then I, um, I do some trial and error with a couple of die cuts to see um, which one I want above the heavenly host to fit in that space. And I ultimately go with one of the postages that come in the freebie um, goodie bag. And so I'll go ahead and fussy cut that out. I'll add some twine that I had on my desk. I just grabbed it because it was there and I thought it would be fun to add some extra texture. And after I tie this across the postage, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on as well and kind of tuck that behind the Heavenly Host die cut right above the label. And then I'll grab my tiny attacher and kind of staple on the ends of that uh, twine. And that is going to wrap that up.
that is it darlings this is how it turned out and i absolutely love it added a little bit of texture there wasn't necessary no but i love it and i like to make things uh just look really pretty so it inspires me to get back as you can see i used all 14 of um or all 15 of the labels because it comes with 15 i used 14 for the actual um titles of everything and then i'm trying to find the other one. Oh, here it is for the titles of everything and then one for the front so that's all 15 of the labels gone i also used up this whole sheet um i just want to let you know these up here are stickers too like the heavenly host this and this those are stickers and a couple of um, extra florals that they left there so i'm probably gonna use this in some other way throughout my journaling so i'm gonna keep that add that there um so i'm gonna keep this to use up these three stickers right here i still have tons of these mini stickers left so you'll probably see me use these within um the traveler's notebook as i go through um and then i have of course because i thought i was only going to use one but i actually use both um i have tons of these numbers left so i can probably use those as well so that is it that is a wrap the next time you see my traveler's notebook set up here on this channel it'll be inside of this dory as soon as i find out exactly how i want to um decorate the outside cover so thank you so much for joining me here if you are new here i hope you consider subscribing hit the like button the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos remember that you still have the chance to join my membership here on youtube channel for on my youtube channel for my exclusive um chats and zooms and all of that and also some exclusive videos throughout the month thank you so much for joining me each and every video darlings god bless bye